Hi, I'm Mark from Creative Rod and Custom. Uh, today we're taking a look at a 65 Chevy C10 that I built. As you walk around the truck, you'll see a bunch of modifications done to it. The top has been chopped two inches. Uh, the hood's been wedged sectioned. We narrowed the body uh, widthwise throughout the width of the truck, a total of five inches at the nose of the truck. The doors have been suicided. The bed's been fully molded together, uh, custom inner fender panels made, the whole inside of the bed's all custom made sheet metal. The grill has been recessed an inch into the front of the truck. Uh, we've got custom billet badges around the truck. The bumpers are from a 69 Camaro, both front and rear bumper are Camaro rear bumpers. The exhaust has been Frenched into the bedsides. Uh, underneath the truck, we've got a stock chassis for the main part of the chassis that we've boxed and made custom cross members. Then we put an Art Morrison front clip in the front. Uh, the rear half has been all custom built at a 2x4 box tubing. Uh, it's got a ladder bar set up in it, a uh, 9 inch Ford rear, uh, custom aluminum gas tank. The drivetrain's a Dart 572 big block Chevy uh, with a Kinsler injection on it. Uh, it's got a TCI six speed transmission. We smoothed out the whole injection system and painted it matte gray. Uh, all the finishes on the truck are all PPG. Uh, we use matte clear in a lot of places just to try to uh, kind of give it a more modern look and toughen up the look of the truck a little bit. Uh, we custom matched the gray color to match the Cerakote on the shot wheels. Uh, it's got 14 inch six piston Willwood brakes front and back. Uh, we had to have a custom windshield made, so AM Hot Rod Glass made an acrylic window for us. Uh, some of the other unique features of the truck are a uh, 1960 Chevy car dash. We had Classic Instruments build some custom gauges for that. Uh, the interior was done by Bucks Customs in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. That's full custom leather interior. He built the console and seats and everything from scratch. The paint is PPG. Uh, it's a tri-coat on there, candy, off a 2019 Honda. Uh, trying to think of some other things. Mickey Thompson tires front and rear on it. Uh, just a lot of unique features on the truck. Um, some of them were difficult things on it or uh, the owner had actually started the truck himself about 20 years ago. So trying to pick the project up where he left off and fix some of the stuff that he messed up. And we ended up having to rechop the roof and put new door skins on it, built the hood from scratch, new bedsides, rebuilt the whole tailgate. Uh, just completely redid about 90% of what he did and then put our spin on it and tried to, you know, make it look like it wasn't started 20 years ago and make a vehicle that was still relevant today and kind of blended his pro street uh, flavor that he wanted into it with uh, some more modern influences. Uh, a few more of the modifications done to the truck are the whole hood was welded to the front fenders. We ended up making everything a one piece clip and then recut the factory hood center out and fabricated a new hood. Uh, we used 55 Chevy hood hinges and modified them to work with the, the hood. Hopefully taking a look around the truck, you guys can see all the modifications that were done to the truck. Uh, hopefully they were done in a tasteful enough manner where it, where it just kind of refines the look of the truck without making it uh, look awkward. You know, we tried to look at uh, what his original vision was for the truck and just refine it and uh, make it something that looked like it flowed together properly.